100 Important Questions in Nursing Board Exams Questions and Answers Part 1 You have 5 seconds to answer each question. Are you ready? The Environmental Theory by Florence Nightingale described this as the act of utilizing the environment of the patient to assist him in his recovery. A. Profession B. Professionalism C. Professionalization D. Nursing Answer D. Nursing which term best describes the science of nursing? A. The skilled application of knowledge B. The knowledge base for care C. Hands-on care such as giving bath D. Respect for each individual patient Answer B. The knowledge base for care the science of nursing is the knowledge base for care that is provided. In contrast, the skilled application of knowledge is the art of nursing. The nurse in history credited for establishing nursing education is A. Dorothea Orem B. Sister Callista Roy C. Florence Nightingale D. Lillian Wall Answer C. Florence Nightingale Florence Nightingale established nursing education during educative period of nursing in which she offered the formal curriculum course in nursing. A patient complains of feeling nauseated after lunch. This is what type of data? A. Objective B. Subjective C. Overt D. Signs and Symptoms Answer B. Subjective A patient report of feeling nauseated cannot be perceived or validated by the nurse, thus is a subjective data. Objective and overt are observable and measurable. Signs and symptoms are examples of objective data. In recording a blood pressure of 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury, 120 represents the A. Pulse rate B. Diastolic pressure C. Systolic pressure D. Pulse deficit Answer C. Systolic pressure When a fire occurs in a patient's room, the nurse's priority should be to A. Rescue the patient B. Extinguish the fire C. Sound the alarm D. Run for help Answer A. Rescue the patient. The patient's safety is always the priority. Remember the race principle during fire. Rescue, alarm, confine the fire, extinguish. The nurse observes some involuntary muscle jerking in a sleeping patient. The patient is most likely in A. Stage 1 NREM sleep B. Stage 2 NREM sleep C. Stage 4 NREM sleep D. REM sleep Answer A. Stage 1 NREM sleep Caffeine is a known stimulant and its intake should be A. Avoided at least 30 minutes before bedtime B. Combined with milk to counteract its effect C. Avoided at least 4 to 5 hours before bedtime D. Encouraged during the waking hours to counteract the effects of sleeplessness Answer C. Avoided at least 4 to 5 hours before bedtime Milk does not counteract the effect of caffeine and caffeine use is not recommended during waking hours your patient complains of excessive flatulence. When reviewing the patient's dietary intake, which food, if eaten regularly, would you identify as possibly responsible? A. Meat B. 
B. Cauliflower C. Potato D. Ice Cream Answer B. Cauliflower Because of too much intake of gas-forming food, your client is complaining of flatulence. Which position would help in eliminating excessive gas formation? A. Trendelenburg position B. Knee chest position C. Semi-Fowler's position D. Fowler's position Answer B. Knee chest position Because gas rises, the knee chest position facilitates the passage of lattice. Which child has the greatest risk for choking and suffocation? A. A toddler playing with his 9-year-old brother's construction set B. A 4-year-old eating yogurt for lunch C. An infant covered with a small blanket and asleep in the crib D. A 3-year-old drinking a glass of juice Answer A. A toddler playing with his 9-year-old brother's construction set a young child may place a small or loose parts on his or her mouth. A toy that is safe for a 9-year-old could harm a toddler. Which of the following nutrients remains in the stomach for the longest period? A. Fats B. Carbohydrates C. Proteins D. Water Answer A. Fats Fat stays in the stomach longer and is digested slowly, thus given to prevent dumping syndrome in post-gastrectomy patients. Who is liable together with the nurse if the nurse committed a medication error? A. Head nurse B. Supervisor C. Doctor who ordered the medication D. Hospital Answer D. Hospital under Respondent Superior is the hospital that hired the nurse. What is the objective of community health nursing? A. Involving the health team B. Providing quality care C. Providing personnel with opportunities for professional growth D. Participating in development plan of the community Answer B. Providing quality care Which of the following government agencies recommends the use of herbal medicines? A. Department of Education B. National Bureau of Research C. Department of Health D. National Power Corporation Answer C. Department of Health Play during infancy is a. Initiated by the child B. A way of teaching how to share C. More important than in later years D. Mostly used for physical development Answer D. Mostly used for physical development The primary task to be accomplished between 12 and 15 months of age is to learn to A. Use a spoon B. Climb stairs C. Walk direct D. Say simple words Answer C. Walk erect Walking is the primary development task of this age group. The other choices are not applicable for this age group. The blood vessels in the umbilical cord consist of A. Two arteries and one vein B. Two arteries and two veins C. One artery and two veins D. One artery and one vein Answer A. Two arteries and one vein Two umbilical arteries arise from the fetus and go to the placenta where waste products are exchanged for oxygen and nutrients and then returned via one umbilical vein First fetal movements felt by the mother is known as A. Balotment B. Engagement C. Lightening D. Quickening 
answer D. Quickening. Quickening originates from the Middle English word quick, which means alive. Balotment is bouncing of the fetus in the amniotic fluid against the examiner's hand. Engagement occurs when the presenting part is at the level of the ischial spine. Lightening is the descent of the fetus into the birth canal. In prenatal development, growth is most rapid in the A. Implantation period B. First trimester C. Second trimester D. Third trimester Answer D. Third trimester Third trimester is the period in which the fetus stores deposits of fat. After birth, in a normal neonate, the ductus arteriosus becomes the A. Ligamentum teres B. Venous ligament C. Ligamentum arteriosum D. Superior vesical artery Answer C. Ligamentum arteriosum There is an anatomic obliteration of the lumen by fibrous proliferation leading to the term ligamentum arteriosum. The pituitary hormone that stimulates the secretion of milk from the mammary gland is A. Prolactin B. Oxytocin C. Progesterone D. Estrogen Answer A. Prolactin Prolactin is the hormone from the anterior pituitary that stimulates mammary gland secretions. Progesterone and estrogen are ovarian hormones that influence breast development and other female sexual characteristics. Oxytocin is a neurohormone that stimulates uterine contractions during labor. Infants whose mothers contracted rubella in the first trimester are frequently born with A. Hydrocephalus B. Focomelia C. Cardiac Anomalies D. Autosclerosis Answer C. Cardiac Anomalies Heart development occurs between the second and eight weeks of gestation. In becoming responsible parents, the great benefits go to A. Home B. Society C. Children D. Country Answer C. Children It is in responsible parenting that children are primarily molded as individuals. The finding which would probably necessitate prolonged follow-up care of a newborn would be A. An initial APGAR score of 5 B. Birth weight of 3,500 grams C. The aspiration of 20 ml of milky colored fluid from the newborn's stomach D. An umbilical cord that contained only two vessels Answer D. An umbilical cord that contained only two vessels the congenital absence of a vessel in the umbilical cord is often associated with life-threatening congenital anomalies. So what's your score? You can post it now in the comment section. For more sample practice tests, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching!